Hello everyone, welcome to Excel 10 tutorial. In this advanced Excel tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can change the invoice number automatically in Microsoft Excel. Okay, I have done something similar in a previous tutorial. You can check that here and in this tutorial, I'm going to do it in a different way. Okay, if you look at this worksheet here, I have an invoice template and in cell G4, I want to enter invoice number. So in this tutorial, I'm going to do something in a way that whenever I double click on the cell G4, four it will change the invoice number okay so if it's empty the invoice number will be one when i double click it if the invoice number is 10 here and if i double click here it will change it to 11 this is what i'm going to do in this tutorial let's get started <laughs> So I'm going to use VBA for this tutorial and all you have to do is right click on the worksheet tab, click on view code and just paste the code. Okay, I have already written the code. You'll have to write this code here and here you can see G4. This is the cell number where I want to enter the invoice number automatically. So when you have the code here, just close the VBA and it's done. Now take a look at here in cell G4. When I double click here, the invoice number changes to one. So if I double click here again, number has changed to two. Double click again, invoice number has changed to three. Now remember, you will have to save this workbook as XLSM format. Okay, so file, save as, wherever you want, you can save it. Just click here in the drop down and select this format, Excel Macro Enable Workbook. Okay, so if you save it in this way, your VBA code will be saved along with it. Now, double click invoice number four. Suppose you want to save this invoice, but you don't want the VBA code to pass along. So just change the invoice number, create your invoice. When you done file, you save as option. Okay, save as and then save the invoice to excel sx format okay so the trick is your master workbook or your invoice template should be in dot xlsm format and your invoice will be in excel sx format okay so this is what i wanted to show you thank you thanks for watching see you in the next tutorial and don't forget to subscribe if you can support the channel through patreon and thank you thanks for watching